One is A Feast for a Mouse, A Thanksgiving Tale by Judy Cox, illustrated by Jeffrey Ebeler. One is A Feast for a Mouse. After Thanksgiving dinner, Mouse crept out of his hidey hole and looked around. The house was quiet. Dad snoozed in his chair with his book. Mom dozed in front of the TV. Outside, the kids played football in the crisp yellow leaves. Cat curled up by the fire. He yawned and stretched his stripy tail. And then he closed his greeny eyes and went to sleep. Mouse scampered up the tablecloth. Thanksgiving leftovers were still on the table. So much to eat. Mouse saw a teensy tiny toothsome green pea all by itself under a plate. Give thanks, he thought. One will be a feast for me. Mouse rolled the pea across the tablecloth to take it back to his hidey hole. But his eyes were bigger than his stomach. There he is with the pea. He saw six leftover cranberries glowing like rubies on a silver, silver saucer. I'll just take one, he said to himself. One is a feast for me. And he balanced one cranberry on top of the pea and started once again across the table to his hidey hole. Just then, he saw three olives, black and shiny in a dish. I'll just take one, he thought. One is a feast for me. And he put the olive on top of the cranberry on top of the pea and he carried the tidbits across the table. Then he saw the carrot sticks, crunchy and munchy and orange. I'll just take one, he thought. One is a feast for me. He stuck one carrot stick into the hole in the olive and he balanced both on top of the cranberry on top of the pea and he started back to his hidey hole. Then he saw the mashed potatoes, mouse potatoes. There was just one scoop left on the plate. I'll just take the plate, Mouse thought. What a feast I'll have. And he balanced the plate of potatoes on top of the carrot stick in the hole in the olive on top of the cranberry on top of the pea. Mouse started across the table. Then he saw the gravy, brown and luscious, in the silver gravy boat. Gravy for the mouse potatoes, he thought. I must have that for my feast. And he balanced the gravy boat on top of the mashed potatoes, on top of the carrot stick, stuck in the olive, on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea, and he started off. But then he spotted the pumpkin pie, one slice of pie, brown and dimpled with a collar of fluffy cream. So he balanced the pie on top of the gravy boat, on top of the mashed potatoes, on top of the carrot stick stuck in the hole in the olive, on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea, and he started across the table. The pie slid, but Mouse caught it just in time. Mouse bobbled and bobbled across the table on his way to the hidey hole for his Thanksgiving feast. He didn't see Cat creeping, creeping closer and closer. But, but Mouse saw the turkey, brown and juicy, surrounded with parsley. Much was gone, but there was enough left for a mouse feast, or even two. I'll just add that, thought Mouse, and he carefully placed the turkey platter on the very top of his pile, on top of the pile, on top of the pie, on top of the gravy, on top of the mashed potatoes, on top of the carrot stick stuck in the hole in the olive, on top of the cranberry, on top of the pea. He started across the table to his hidey hole, and there, at the table's edge, he met Cat, 
greedy-eyed and hungry, clawing up the table on the tablecloth. Mouse skidded to a stop. The turkey wibbled and wobbled, slid and slipped. Mouse danced to keep his feet feast balanced, pirouetted, pirouetted like a ballerino, <laughs> ballerina, juggled her, like a platter spinner, but off slid the turkey, whoosh, with a plop, landing smack on the cat. Down crashed the pumpkin pie and the boat with the gravy. Down crashed the mashed potatoes with a clatter that woke mom. Down fell the carrot stick, still impaled in the olive. Down went the cranberry, which rolled across, leaving a red track across the tablecloth. Down went the pea, all caterwampus across the table, rolling onto the floor, an off-scampered mouse, quick as a bandit, back to his hidey hole, ahead of cats. He huddled in his hidey hole. His heart pitter-pattered. He peered out, and down came the broom on the stripy, greeny-eyed cat. Bad kitty, shouted Mom, outside, and she swept the cat out the door. Mouse looked around, whiskers trembling in fright. No Thanksgiving feast for me, he thought. Just then, he spotted, glowing in the corner, one teensy tiny round and toothsome green and luscious pea. Give thanks. One is a feast for me.